hello students welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn from your honeycomb book the new chapter the asses that made trees bloom okay um, just uh, look at the title the, of the lesson the asses that made trees bloom we all know the meaning of asses that asses made trees bloom how could it could it be possible the asses that asses made trees bloom okay uh, that that is what we are going to learn from this story the asses that made trees bloom uh, the story is uh, actually is a japanese tale um, written by william eliot griffiths okay william eliot griffiths is the author of the lesson the asses that made trees bloom how could the asses made the trees bloom before uh, you read before you read before we get into the exact text of the lesson before you read this is a story about an honest and hard working old couple and their pet dog okay so just understand here the story is all about an old couple how are they what are their qualities what are the characteristics of the old couple which we are going to discuss in the chapter the new chapter the asses that made trees bloom they are very honest they are very honest and hard working and they are old of course and they had a pet dog okay this is the information the in the basic information that you need to un you need to understand you need to keep it uh, those information in your mind which is which help which would help us to learn in the better way this is a story about an honest and hard working old couple and their pet dog see the next one. the neighbors are troublesome and the dog dies a bad a sad death the spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways so it is a very very interesting story the couple an honest hard working old couple had a pet dog a little bit pet dog that at one point of time the dog dies how the dog dies what are the reasons that made the dog dies and next the spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways what are those unexpected ways okay uh, why the neighbors are giving trouble to the honest and hard working old couple this is uh, this is a very interesting uh, story actually it is a uh, japanese tale uh, what are those unexpected ways let us uh, read the story and understand how it happened okay the asses that made trees bloom okay the asses that made trees bloom how could asses make the trees bloom it is really even the title itself tells us how interesting this story is going to be okay the asses that made trees bloom in the good old days in the good old days of the daimyos there lived there lived an old couple whose only pet was a little dog so the story starts in the good old days of the daimyos okay the new word the daimyos what is the meaning of this word daimyos we never heard about this word daimyos it is a very simple meaning of this word daimyos wealthy land owners okay wealthy land owners in 19th century japan okay in 19th century japan wealthy land owners among the daimyos they were called as 
devils there lived an old couple whose only pet was a little dog so they were living in uh, japan 19th century they had a dog uh, little, little dog it is uh, the dog was very close to their heart why having no children they loved it as though it were a baby the couple the old couple had no children so they loved the dog as it were a baby as it were their own baby they really really loved the dog very much who the old couple what are their characteristic char characters of the old couple very hard working very honest they had no children as they are having no children they had a dog it was very close to their heart and they loved it as it were a baby next the old dame made it a cushion of blue crap and at meal time muko for that was its name would sit on it as snuggles in a cat see the old dam dam means a woman dam means woman the old woman made it a cushion cushion means a soft pad we, we know the meaning of cushion soft pad of blue crap crap means uh, fine cloth uh, uh, it, it was a fine cloth blue which is uh, uh, blue in color the old lady made a cushion made it a cushion of blue crap and at meal time muko what is that muko muko is the name of the pet dog muko okay for that was its name would sit or it as snug as any cat snug means neat snug means neatly sitting where it's a cushion of blue crap would sit on as snug as any cat such snug means comfortably or uh, neatly comfortable okay comfortable or neat okay would sit on it as snug as any cat how if you if you are having a cat as your pet how cat would sit in your home it would be sitting very comfortably in your home okay in the same way here the uh, dog would sit on it where in a cushion of blue crap crap means fine cloth and at meal time muko for that was its name would sit on it as nagas any cat the kind people fed the pet with the tidbits of fish from their own chopsticks the kind people here the kind people refers to the old couple okay hard working a lovable a hard working old couple okay fed feed we are, we know the meaning of feed feed fed past tense the kind people fed the pet okay the kind people fed the duck with tidbits of fish from their own chopsticks here tidbits again the new word tidbits what is the meaning of tidbits a tidbits is uh, nothing small pieces of fish small pieces of fish actually left over after having after eating the fish whatever the things were left uh, are called as a tidbits okay the kind people fed the pet with the tidbits of fish from their own chopsticks okay um, they used to feed the dog by their own chopsticks the chopsticks means the stick which is used to cut something okay uh, like spoon okay they use their own spoon to feed the dog because they love the dog 
as much as uh, like as their own kid that is what the matter here okay they use their own chopstick and all the boy the rice it wanted okay what whatever what are the things were used to feed the dog the little dog the pet dog first thing tidbits what is the meaning of tidbits tidbits is nothing small pieces of fish and also boiled rice okay all the boiled rice it wanted it refers to the dog and all the boiled rice the dog wanted how they feed how did they feed the dog they fed the dog by their own chopsticks tidbits and boiled rice thus a treated the dumb creature loved its protectors like a being with a soul see the dumb creature dumb creatures means the dog dumb creature why la pochin solo la tamil la the dumb creature loved its protectors like a being with a soul being with a soul means like a human child like a human child or child ta or anba avangala valakkrappa avanga the child eppadi undu the thirupi evlo lovable ah irukum apdi inga parents mel abingiradhu adhe pola inga the dog the little dog love its protectors like a being with a soul or human child meriye or human child polave adhu romba lovable ah irundhuchu to their protectors protectors na the old couple Okay. Thus, I treated the dumb creature, loved its protectors like a being with a soul. The old man, being a rice farmer, went daily with the hoe or span into the fields. So uh, here we understand the old man would go to the farm daily with span or hoe. What is that span? What is that span or hoe? it is the forming to which is used to, uh, to be forming to form uh, actually this is a digging tool okay a tool for a digging we can say like that okay we can put it in that way ho or spare a tool for digging so the old man uh, being a rice farmer is a farmer specifically he is a uh, uh, rice farmer being a rice farmer went daily with the hoe or spade into the fields working hard in the beginning itself we can be we read that he was a very hard working person the couple both of them were working hard working hard from morning until otento sama otento sama is the japanese word what is the meaning of that otento sama as the sun is called okay the sun is called okay working hard from morning to evening okay that is what exact meaning of the old into summer old into summer is a japanese word as the sun is called sun uh, said we can say in, we can put it in that way uh, old into summer the sun said working hard from morning until old into summer as the sun is called Had gone down behind the hills. Had gone down behind the hills. Every day the dog followed him to work. Okay, so the man would go to the farm daily, and the dog also followed him to work. Okay, never once harming the white heron that walked in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the bones. See. white haram it's a bird it's a white haram means it's a bird uh, what what type of bird the large bird that lives in rain water that is called white haram a large bird that le- that lives near the water okay that is that bird is white haram what a dog does it never harms the white haram that walk in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the ooms ooms means ooms 
insects, small insects. And the Puchila and the Puchila, they have a white hair and a pillow and the poor money like the Rico and the white hair and the dark wind disturb Pandare Panade. Never harm, you know, in the thing who say that in the dark wind on the white hair and other bird or a large bird where it lives, I mean, getting it up, it lives near the water. Okay, and the bird here in the dark wind in the Tolero may put that other exact meaning of the sentence that like. Harming, uh, never harm, harming the white karan that walk in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the homes. For the old fellow was a patient and kind to everything that had life. For the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life. In all we are going to do, the old man is going to be able to do it. The old man is going to be able to do it. The old man is going to be able to do it. Old man, he was a farmer, rice farmer. You can remember me getting that. But the old fellow was a patient and kind to everything that had life. In the only, all of you know the com that had life, the everything that had life, all of them kind and kind. And often, but the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life. And often turned up soon on purpose to give food to the birds. And that is really all of them. Poor old lady, that is often funny about it. Turn up means approve panu aja. Ini kan, na, angga mana macam macam orang pucil na, mana pucil mana parah ini lekong, mana orang orang kopi ni dekat. Orang orang perpisah ni angga, macam mana, sebab yang ada, angga old man, orang kind person. Ia was a kind person and very hard working and he was kind to everything that had life, everything that had life. Ia kan, apa terjadi orang dekat orang orang lain. Next, one day. The dog came a running to him, putting his paws against his legs and uh, motioning with his head to some spot behind. One day, the dog came running to him. Okay, the dog, which dog? The pet dog, the little pet dog. Actually, the man, the old man, was bringing up. Putting his paws, paws means the dog, putting his paws against his legs and motioning with his head. And some spot behind. The old man at first thought his pet was only playing and did not mind it. In the corner, the dog was down there. Or now the dog was there and came running to him. Now he was running there, putting his paws against his now. And called the man to come there and or a man or a signal to come and motion with his head to some spot behind. Or he had to come there and or a head to move up and or a move up and motion up and. Orang itu spot yang dia kaki tu, tu sah spot dia. Orang pina pin pada tu lalu orang spot orang itu orang ni orang ni kaki tu, dia ada kerana dia orang ni. Orang ni dia dark came running to him, putting his paws against his legs and motioning with his head then to some spot behind. The old man at first thought his pet was only playing and did not mind it. The old man orang ni cakap, mana orang ni orang beraya itu beraya di sini, orang ni orang tu kerja orang ni orang main bola. The old man at first thought his pet was only playing and did not mind it. But the dog kept on whining and running to and fro for some minutes. Okay, kept on whining and running to and fro for some minutes. Whining means complaining. Whining means complaining. The dog repeatedly done, repeatedly did that. But the dog kept on whining and running the two and four for some minutes. A few minutes later, when Chitra Mudra Madhyam Bhadi Pani did it, but the dog kept on whining and running two and four for some minutes. Then the old man followed the dog a few yards to a place where the animal began a lively, lively scratching. Okay. Then the old man followed the dog a few yards. To a place where the animal began a live, lively scratching. But everything going on, the dog when they now scratch and the the ground on the scratch for the start punch. So you know the important the follow up only point is, and then the the end the that long scratch point is, the poor that the follow up only poor that. Thinking, thinking it was possibly a buried bone or bit of fish. Or even if it's poor that only, now it was possibly a buried bone. Now the bone on the Kalau pelan cerita, kalau orang orang fish, orang bete, orang orang lepas tu orang orang itu pun macam cerita, orang orang pun ada. Orang orang 
stuck his hole அதாவது போன்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி ஏதாவது இருக்கும் நினைக்கிறாரு ஸோ வந்து ஹி ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்ட்ராக் ஹிஸ் ஹோ 